Hi guys, welcome to the video. Um, we've got something, well, completely different from what I normally upload, because I don't think I've ever uploaded anything to do with Airsoft, but here we are. So, um, if you live in Missouri, which is where I'm from, you'd know that we don't have many Airsoft fields here in Missouri. So, one of the main ones, and the one closest to me, is the Rock Airsoft. And it's a completely outdoor course. It's from, I don't really want to say an abandoned quarry, but I guess a retired uh, rock quarry uh, up in Bolivar, Missouri. And it's about the only thing we have, like I said, and it is really good. Um, they're still continuously updating their field. And it's kind of crazy how far it's come in like the last five years. It's either five or six years ago that they started. But um, me and Flat Cannon went to G&G &G days. And that is just a huge Airsoft event sponsored by G&G, &G, which if you don't know Airsoft, then G&G &G is a company that makes Airsoft guns and accessories. And they sponsor uh, The Rock, and they usually come out and uh, send representatives to come and, you know, hang out with everyone and uh, show what G&G &G has to offer. But uh, the last two years, last year and this year, they haven't been able to make it because of the restrictions and their company and everything. But I don't know a whole lot. I just kind of know what uh, they told me. But the owners are super great, um, and their employees are amazing. Uh, I literally bought—not in here—but I literally bought a brand new uh, Stima. That's about all I know about it. I didn't research much into it, but it's a lipo-powered uh, AEG airsoft rifle that's extremely long barrel, which is what I wanted because there is a lot, a lot of opportunities to be a sniper or a long range sharpshooter in this okay sorry I, had, I ran out of space in my uh, drive that I was using to record but I'm all good I'm all good now it's all, it's all great hopefully so anyway so yeah me and flat Cannon went to the rock it was a lot of fun we met a lot of good people the owners are great um, I forgot what I was talking about so here we go <laughs> Yeah. So this first game was the very first one we played for the weekend. It was raining. This was on Saturday. And it was just enough to fog up everyone mask and goggles and I thought that the GoPro screen would be fogged up and I was having a lot of GoPro troubles in the first game so you'll notice it's set up completely different after like the first few minutes but yeah uh, after we get to the briefing I'll cut to the gameplay. All right, let's see if I this thing's working. I may not have put enough gas in it. Yes. <laughs> Hold on. Oh yeah, it's got plenty of gas. Now with the game started, me and Zane, we're going to take position out in the woods somewhere and just take long shots at people. Uh, Zane had a problem with his mask, so he had to go fix that, and I had GoPro problems for like the first five minutes of this game, so I'm going to go ahead and cut to where we actually get into the action. Uh, since I had GoPro problems, Zane went ahead, I told him to, and I didn't Zane. find him for a straight hour. Still. So, yeah, he's not in much of this game. Alright, so where I am now, this is called No Man's Land, and this is really easy to see why. Because it's just completely open for a long, long time, and there's not really much, but just 
rocks, piles of rocks, and a few cairns that someone left behind, which I think is interesting. Have you seen a guy in a ghillie suit? I've seen quite a few, brother. Oh, well, fair enough. <laughs> Now, having no idea where Zane went after fixing my GoPro, I just decided to link up with some random people and go fight with them. Wilson here? Uh, I just here, what's up? Me and A5 are working it to the pod. We're not there yet. Come. This right. way. A for a mon route. Huh, well. 10 4. Hi, right, bro. What's up? Ball. Up here. Drawn to the sounds of gunfire, I head in this direction, and shortly after, I realize with my scope on my AR, I can't see a thing between my fogged up glasses, my tinted mask, and my soaking wet scope. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Bad run. I can't see a god dang thing. Oh damn. Use your hoodie and oh it's not. I'm trying to find my friend. Okay, so here you can't see it in the camera, but there was a guy charging through the smoke right towards us. I was the only one who saw him, so I decided to take the shot and I actually got him. <sighs> At this point, I was tired of trying to my shotgun my scabbard, scabbard, and so I took it off it down and asked this fine young gentleman to put it in my shotgun scabbard for me, which didn't really work either. So I wound up actually going Make back sure to spawn to put it in fit? my bag, and oh. <laughs> I think my GoPro died somewhere around there. I, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with that thing, but I can't, I especially can't see anything through my scope. So we don't blame you. So I might as well just take it off and use iron sights. There. It smells like fireworks. So you can tell my Allen wrench yeah. in my fucking backpack. So yeah. if I want to take this thing off. You can tell how many grenades have already went off. By as long as the shotgun's most of the way in, it should be fine. I gotta get this thing in first. Put this in on top of it. Anything to be somehow. Oh boy. Trust me. Got She's dead. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm just gonna have to hip fire. I can't use this. Christ. Yeah, I can't see a dang thing. Yeah. Damn thing. Everything Hi, was fine, yeah. but like two minutes ago, everything started fogging up. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> uh, Matthew, snap this side up for him. Just take the scope out and I'll put it somewhere. Sure, okay. hold that. I might just walk back to spawn and put my Did scope you just in there. Wrap electrical tape around that? Yeah, it's just duct tape. There you go. This thing has a nice weight to it. Oh yeah, it's gas too. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And it shoots three at a time. I need one. There you go. There we go. Oh god, yeah, today's back, such back, a struggle. Back where we uh, did briefing with John in the bar looking area. My friend set his backpack down if you need to go up there. Yeah, I've got some stuff back there too, but... 
I just don't want to walk back there. Okay, fuck it. Let's move down this fucking road. My friend has a big pocket he might be able to fit your scope in. Yeah. You want to slide it in this back one on me? Uh. Nah, I'll be alright. I'll just find something to do with it. And so I did. So I walked all the way back to respawn, which took me about probably a good solid seven minutes because it's really far back there. And I dropped my scope off, kind of took my mask off for a bit, and I headed back out to the battlefield. But right when I got to spawn, I ran into this guy who's probably having even more issues than I was. Oh, this is fun. No, I'm having the greatest of time. <laughs> my belt's I'm fat. My belt keeps, belt keeps falling. Oh yeah, my main thing is my gla or my mask is fogged up so bad, but. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's try this again, shall we? And with this, and this is all the footage up. I have of the first day because my GoPro died. I didn't have another battery with me, and my SD card got stuck in my tablet on the second game, and I couldn't get it out. So, that's all the recordings from the first oh. game. Actually, here's some footage of me sliding down a hill and finding a secret objective that I didn't know about. I'm also not wearing my glasses, which I pretty heavily rely on. Okay. Clear that way. Clear that way? Clear this way. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Clear that way. Clear that way? Clear this way. Okay. Now, I believe that the second game on the first day, which I didn't get any footage of, was the best game that me and Zane had all weekend because we both got at least four or five kills, I'm guessing. And I think we got a couple more, but I, they probably didn't feel them because there's a lot of people who d had way too much gear on. But it stopped raining. I could actually see. Uh, we actually got really far in enemy territory, and it was really fun. Like I said, the GoPro ran out of battery. I had one in the truck. I went and got it during lunch, but I put my SD card into my tablet to review the footage, and I couldn't get the tray open again. So I eventually got it on the second day. Um... So yeah, here's the second day, and it was a much better day, much hotter day. Um, I didn't wear near as much as my gear, and it was about 80 degrees, and all I had on was a jacket, and I was sweating really bad. So, yeah. Enjoy this one. There's a lot more of Zane. Actually, there is Zane in this game, so here we go. I hit the button. Zero, 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 one. It's upside down. I know. Is it counting? Yeah. Okay, it's recording then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that in the video. Just for you. Where is everybody? So the objective for this game was kind of like domination or hard. So it's kind of like for domination. Call of Duty. And we just had to guard the town, and the tan team had to take it from us. Well, you have to stay pretty far back.
In this game, Zane is using his M700 oh, airsoft hey, sniper you know, that's gas powered, you know, that's this a custom barrel, right over here has and it shoots a, a little bit hot, so he has a minimum yeah. safe distance yeah, you can get up of in that. 100 to 150 feet. And you can shoot out the the holes in the top wall. That's what that is. I don't know how you get up there. I remember seeing this building earlier. Yes. And there's a part in the top that you have to lay down and you can snipe from the top of it through holes in the wall and it's kind of hard to shoot into. So I had Zane go up in there and see what he could see. You figure it out? He said that there might be some heading over this way. And we got a couple guys farther over too. Of ours? Yes. Okay. So at this point, it looked like we had the town almost completely surrounded, and it looks like there was no way Tan Team was going to be able to infiltrate the town and take it from us. How's it going up there, Zane? How's it going up there? You see someone? Oh, he's shooting. He's right up in here. I heard he's Zane start down. popping off some shots, so I went to ask him and see what he saw. You got someone, Zane? Oh, well, I can't see him from down here. Hold on, I can't hear you again. What? The prison? The prison is back the other way. It sounds like two guys oh, are trying about, to make a run a for the here in hill, town? which you can see the two flags on top of the hill. Oh. They have to capture that and change the flag. Wait, is that a tan guy over there? Yes. Just standing on the hill? Yes. Oh. I kind of felt dumb after this one. Well. Okay. I was going to say, I think I actually hit one when I was spraying over there. Just now.
You get up there, Zane. Oh, he's over there. You still got him over there? Okay, we got some guys like kind of pushing over in here. Maybe they're going back that way, then I don't know. Well, like we got some of our guys pushing, pushing in the uh, in the woods. Yeah. So. Well, they're like right there. They might be going up that hill though too. Zane, you good? Didn't see anything? Mm -hmm. Could you see the road down there? Yeah. Huh. At this point, I try All to right, think well, of a different strategy since their spawn is so close. Oh, apparently that guy sees people down there. Yeah. I think there are people going over there. can't see it in the camera, but right down this road, right down the hill, is their spawn. It's not too far back into the woods. With my allies shooting into the tree line and the grenade they just threw at us, I knew that they were making a push for the city. I don't know if you could hear it, but the only people that can go full auto in this event are LMGs. And so I heard full auto and that meant an LMG was very nearby. The guy I shot here may have actually been hit already, but he didn't have a dead drag and he was just standing in the road, so I went ahead and shot him. He just kind of turned toward me and looked at me and put his hand up, so... Guy, if you're watching and you were hit, I'm sorry. Got that guy. I don't know if you guys can see him down there. He's way, way down in there, but... What the crap? This is where I start to notice some fire from behind me, which, as you can see, across the city there's a hill that they can flank on. 
I don't know. supposed to since it's close to the spawn and the God, starting wild, area, dude. I guess you can call it. But they were doing it anyway. Oh. Eventually a ref went up I there I and told him to get down, but there was a couple that were flanking us from the rear. That was very gentle, but I think, I'm pretty sure I got hit. I'm not really sure where I got hit from in this part of the video. Uh, it may have been an ally, a stray shot, or a ricochet off the ground or oh. something, but I try to call my hits even if it's kind of sketchy, but anyway, I get revived fairly quickly, so well. it doesn't really matter. Hey, do we have medics? He ran. What do we do, actually? Sweet. Do you got bands or anything? Uh. I'll just magic hands you. Okay. By the healing power invested in Frank. <laughs> I got one over here, and that's that's the guy that was just standing in the road. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's basically they're just kind of spawn, basically. Yeah. It's just a huge pain to try to come up this way. And I can't count, but I'd say it's been long enough. Okay, sounds good to me. <laughs> I was about to say he he medics pretty fast. That's fine with me. I decided I that if they're going to just try and come up this hill, then I'll just... I don't know if there's any left camp down here. On it. <laughs> I know there's a couple of our guys down there, or their guys down there, but I think they're dead. Like, I can see one just looking up at me, but I'm pretty sure he's dead. That guy you can see up on the hill at the tree line is actually Yeah, he's like right down there, sane, but and he's we're, we're literally looking at each anyone, other within range, and he's I just could, kind of... but I wasn't sure if they were dead or not, Yeah, I shot one too. I don't blame his down cautiousness, by the road. because that's a very close range, and their spawn is right around the corner. That's about it so far, though. We did join this game severely late, so, uh... We don't know everything that's going on. We're just kind of, if we see tan team, we shoot them. I didn't camp the road very long ago, but I met up with this guy who's been helping me and Zane out all day. Well, we killed, me and this guy each yeah. killed one person on this road, yeah. but uh, there was an LMG off over that way, but another guy was uh, shooting at him. I guess he ran off the other way. Okay. But. They might have had a medic, because it seems like they're alive again. Okay. Why is... Well, their spawn's right there at the bottom. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't for sure. Yeah, they're they're just trying to take the city. I guess. I don't know. I'm, I know they're, you know, these flags and stuff. Yeah. And there's the download in the trailer. Okay. So... Man, if we're all concentrated on this way, what if they go all the way around and just sneak well, in the download? That, well, I'll go walk over there and check, because we got three people at least over here yeah um i know three just walked out of from that ridge of the tan so i'll go check this other side okay like, like i said me and him are kind of just staying on this side on this trailhead over okay. here That's fine. so now knowing that they have an objective Zane, you dead? inside the town to download data from the trailer i didn't just camp on this side the whole game i also went into one of the upstairs buildings the two-story buildings, I guess you could say, to try and get a higher view and see what I could see from there and see if anybody Swore was sneaking up behind silent. us and just trying to sneak in the trailer to do the download. Here they come. They just threw a smoke grenade. Okay, this is one of the things that didn't really tick me off or anything, but it made no sense all weekend. Like they threw it right People down spent a lot head. of money on these smoke grenades, like um, actual, you know, pull ring smoke grenades, and then they just threw them for no reason. They didn't try to escape or advance, they just threw them just to be throwing them, and those things are expensive. Yeah. 
think that guy's dead. Maybe not though. Yeah. Sorry for the random cut, but I had to go change well, out my GoPro battery. Right, so apparently, got here this is late, where it started so. recording. But yeah. this guy was explaining to me that before the game started, they said that there was gold bars out in the field that if you take it back to your spawn, then you get extra points and your team can. It helps your team win the game. So I'm not going to show too much of me up in this tower because with the, my GoPro, the way it's angled, you can't see much, but I'll just show the action bits. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and cut. Oh, that's our guy. So if you notice, there's a lot more gunfire now, and that was from this team that came from out of state, I believe, that was very over dramatic. If you notice that pole on the right side of the frame, that's actually a flagpole, and the tan team actually had to change the flag to their color whenever they reached the city. Where'd Zane go? At this time, it had actually been some time since I've seen Zane last, and I really didn't know where he went. So I was keeping a sharp eye out for him because he may have won out into the woods and got hit. Oh, there he is. He's like way over there. He's just the guy in black over there, just sitting down in the woods. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. He's really far away. I just saved Zane's life. Now it's kind of sad that you can't see it, but this has got to be my most impressive shot of the weekend because I was all the way across the city. There was a guy coming up around Zane where he probably Maybe couldn't see him, there. and I hit him. I, I couldn't believe it, but I actually hit him. Uh oh. I think there's some guys testing weapons over there or something. I can't believe I hit him that far. My BBs weren't even really curving. I love this long barrel AR so much. I want to say we're pretty clear for now, but as soon as I say that, somebody's going to come right around the corner or something. The bad thing about this town is it's so easy to flank. So easy. After enough time in the tower, I decided to go join Zane on the front lines. Oh. Oh, my back. Killing me. The last I saw of Zane, he was headed in this direction. I thought it was bees chasing me. Yeah. And I was like, nope. Don't they have a spawn, like, right down the hill? Yeah, it's a little bit down the way. After stopping to talk right to there? this dude oh, and admire this beautiful car, I continued my hunt for Zane. Yeah, I don't know if I'm blind or what, but it didn't hit me that he was walking right in front of me until I actually got up here. See anyone done another Zane? Of course, the one time I leave the city, the LMG guy returns. Hit! God dang it, why do I always get hit? Zane was even in front of me. He didn't get hit, only I did. And with that, that's all the GoPro footage I managed to capture for this weekend. Hi. It's a different day. I uh, took two days, actually several more, to edit this. I cut my hair between then, and um, 
yeah, it's been a full week since we went there. Um, it was a lot of fun. I definitely need to work on my uh, methods of filming for it. Um, I need to mount my GoPro somewhere different, preferably on top of my head instead of front of my mouth. Uh, that way you can actually see and I can breathe and my mask doesn't fog up. But besides that, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, uh, please like, comment if you want, subscribe is the main thing um, for sure. Uh, but yeah, um, if you ever get a chance to go visit The Rock, I highly recommend it because the owners are very nice. The people are usually great. No, the people are great. Yeah, if you live anywhere around the Springfield, Missouri area, um, it's not super far. It's like maybe 30 minutes north of Springfield in, in Bolivar. They also have a store in Ozark named Sogo Airsoft with an indoor course. I highly recommend everything and anything that these people own because it's it's amazing. They, you can get really good prices on airsoft guns there. Usually about the same as Evike or sometimes even a little bit lower, but you don't have to wait or pay for shipping. So that's great. Yeah, uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video and I will see you in the next video, which may or may not be three months from now. Bye!